part of the Netherlands um, that is important, as well as uh, uh, our relationships as a people of God here on earth, but also in the community of the saints. The, the, the church militant here on earth fighting the good fight of faith, the church suffering the souls in purgatory, uh, for whom we ought to be praying on an ongoing basis, and the saints in heaven, the church triumphant in their glory. And we, of course, all want to uh, be brought to that glory, uh, but how much do we want to be brought to that glory? In the readings for today's Mass for Ash Wednesday, we have, first of all, the example of the people uh, taking upon this penitential disposition, uh, seeking to return to the Lord. Uh, this is what the prophet Joel has been inspired to communicate to the people, to urge them to return to the Lord. And he commands with authority that everyone assemble and that they take on the offensive. Return to uh, the Lord says, uh, even now it says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning, rend your heart, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God, etc. So this returning is about repentance from sin. It is about uh, regaining one's orientation and being redirected from sin. Uh, and uh, to order all things in our life for him and his purposes, so that all circumstances, all things that go on for us, are occasions for grace. So as we're facing the coronavirus uh, circumstances, the restrictions and everything, as well as the current um, uh, freezing conditions with uh, ice and loss of electricity, uh, we are here with the use of battery-powered light and uh, candles, uh, and so many people uh, are without power. It teaches us, though, how vulnerable we, we really are. The technology only gives us the illusion of control. And uh, all it takes is something catastrophic and, and human failure. The systems that we design um, uh, that um, are not uh, always at their best and don't always take into consideration everything. Only God can see everything and all the possibilities. And he wants us, and he urges us, to seize upon uh, this opportunity to seek grace in all things. So we, it's not that we have to go looking necessarily for, for things. And the way we approach penance, I think, has to be uh, coupled with our reliance on divine providence, that um, we certainly should, can and should take on certain mortifications in our life, uh, as a willing uh, thing that we do. Remember fasting and abstinence from meat today. Um, and you can go to the USCCB website for the, um, the uh, uh, particulars on those guidelines. Also uh, abstaining from meat, not only on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, but also on all Fridays uh, during Lent. Uh, some of us make it our ongoing practice, uh, generally speaking, to abstain from meet on Friday throughout the year. That's an optional thing that one can choose to take on. Certainly, penance should be a part of one's life. And there are penances that are dealt to us in the circumstances of life. There are penances at times that can be dealt to us by God as discipline to help us to grow and to purify and to renew. And then there are penances um, that, that we freely take on out of love. And that has to be at the key of it. Love for God and love for our neighbor. And so um, we, we seek to be reconciled, to repent from sin. This isn't merely an, a, a new agey type of occasion for uh, some sort of self-improvement methodology that is, is kind of very worldly and ethereal at its core. This is about living in relationship with the Lord our God in covenant with the Lord and with one another and striving to be cooperating with the sanctifying grace. And all of that has to be seen and lived out and in participation in our Lord's self same sacrifice uh, on the cross, uh, which we were made present through his remembrance. We, we have the representation and unbloody manner of the one self sacrifice of Jesus on the cross every time we celebrate one another. And we have to willingly go into these mysteries and participate in them with love of heartfelt. So, in each day, in each occasion of our day, give us today your daily spirits, harden not your heart. Be 
give up on human rescue, give up on uh, to weed out in our lives those things that are sinful, um, and um, the, the kinds of uh, things that we allow to creep in, and to seek pleasure, and to be charitable with others. So important. So as we celebrate this holy mass, um, uh, we do so as a people who seek that found and mirrored and that deepening in communion. May uh, the Lord grant us all graces, blessings, help, and protection during this very sacred time that enable us to uh, go through this season with all that it will entail um, uh, dos with docility and with um, receptivity to the beautiful grace the Lord wants to bestow from his beloved church. Dear brethren, let us humbly ask God our Father that he be pleased to bless with the abundance of his grace these ashes which we will put on our heads in penitence. O oh God, who are moved by acts of humility and respond with forgiveness to works of penance, lend your merciful ear to our prayers. And in your kindness, pour out the grace of your blessing on your servants who are marked with these ashes as they follow the Lenten observances. They may be worthy to come with minds made pure to celebrate the Paschal mystery of your Son. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Let us turn to the Lord with our prayers of petition. We pray for the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, that through this sacred season, we may, all the living, the members of the living body of Christ, the mystical body of Christ, be brought to a shining witness with full fidelity to the revealed truth given by God and witnessed by the life of our Lord his apostles, his holy saints and martyrs. And for the faithful called to give that witness today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our nation and all of our people. We may be brought to unity and to uh, orient ourselves and direct all things to the truth revealed by God and to the holiness of life to which we are called. We pray to the Lord. for the renewal of the appreciation of the fundamental rights in justice, the most basic of which is the right to life, for the unborn, for the elderly and the frail, for those uh, who uh, are uh, subjected to abuse and neglect, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this Lenten season may be a time of 
profound deepening in our appreciation for and witnessing to the mystery of the cross of Christ, standing revealed as a tree of life, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick and the suffering and for those who give care to them, uh, for those who are responding to needs in this time of um, inclement weather and in this time of a pandemic, that the Lord may grace them, protect them, help them to grow in holiness as they seek to serve others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, that through our prayers and our penances, our offerings in generous love and gratitude, may gain them uh, purification and bring them into the splendid light of the communion with the Holy Trinity in the heavenly kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear these our prayers and meet us with all of our needs in your beautiful providential love. Give us courage and faith Give us light that we may walk in your paths and do your holy will. We ask these in all things through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice for the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord that through works of penance and charity we may turn away from harmful pleasures and, cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that 
our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Pleni sunt celi et terra, gloria tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium fidei, mortem tuam, Annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectionem confitemur, donec venias. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, his assisting Bishop George, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Per ipsum et cum ipsa her in ipsa, est tibideo patri omnipotenti, 
in unitati spiritus sancti, omnis honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Pater noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicur in celo er in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum da nobis hodie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, sicur et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas en tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On your day, ye, qui tollis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis, agnus Dei, qui tollis peccata mundi, dona nobis, Pahachem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy through Christ our Lord. I want to wish everyone a a very uh, uh, holy, sacred Lenten season, that whatever difficulties and trials come our way, that we see it as an occasion to grow in grace and to make offerings of love for God and for neighbor. Uh, In this time, I want to reiterate uh, my request that uh, everyone, if you know of someone who's alone, someone elderly, someone frail, uh, especially those who don't have family to check in on them or look after them, if you would um, uh, uh, see to that to the best of your ability. Um, I'm so concerned that uh, there are people who are stranded and without electricity and in um, extreme cold and uh, without water now in various circumstances, there isn't uh, sufficient water. And, uh, of course, this is going to drag on, I think. The, The power problems and the water problems are going to drag on well beyond the uh, temperature coming back to above uh, freezing. So uh, let us uh, do our best to look after one another and to call and check in on people. Um, And, um, you know, uh, these these works of charity are part of the Linton discipline as well. And um, we are without electricity. I was told, I was informed that power was on and I came back, and, and then when I got here, there was no power. So um, so we're just going to take it day by day here. Um, I, I don't know uh, whether we're going to have the church open on Friday or not at this point. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but, um, uh, you know, I encourage everyone, whether we're able to do it here together or online um, uh, through uh, live streaming or if we but I encourage everyone let's make this uh, this uh, Lenten season uh, a time of real closeness to the cross of Christ and keep as, as the, the devotion um, that takes uh, such an important place uh, to help us in that as the, making the stations of the cross whether it be in private recitation or collectively, uh, but let's keep that spirituality of the cross uh, before us during this sacred season. Um, and, and so, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Sove Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamus, exules filii eve, a te suspiramus, Gementes et flentes in hac lacrimarum valle. Ea ergo, advocata nostra, hi los tuos misericordes oculos ad nos converten. Et Jesu, Benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O claimants, o pia, o o o o o o o Virgo Maria, prosit.